I, I remain somewhat baffled to this day why other colleges have taken it to scale. And, and I didn't mention this data point, but for the student who finishes the entire degree, the entire degree, the Z degree, that student will save about a third of their entire cost of the degree with us. You know, $2,500 or more in textbook savings. Uh, I don't know why any college wouldn't be putting entire programs on that path rather than a pocket here and a pocket there. I think we need to move beyond that. If we're really going to have an impact, it needs to be taken to a larger scale. And the degree, I think, is the next logical place to take it. We see the success at the course level in those pockets of areas, but that's not enough. Put the entire degree on that scale. We have at Tidewater you know, roughly 3,000 students any given time in our business program, and 10 to 12 percent of them are graduating each year. If each one of them saves $2,500, that's, that's significant. The deep learning curve because a lot of things had to happen across the university. Uh, so one of the big challenges is we had a lot of applicants ask us a lot of questions. Uh, the majority we could answer, but the majority we had to go out into the university and find the answers. Um, another challenge was getting everything approved through the university, both on the funding side and also on the curriculum side. It's a, a, there are so many people in the process of both of those, it slowed us down. Um, we did learn from that, but it did, uh, we got nervous a little bit here and there as to someone going to say no along that line. We were fortunate uh, by justification of need analysis and uh, some qualitative numbers that uh, we got through the whole process. And uh, here we are now, um, filling our, we had a goal of 40 students to come online in the first cohort, and we've exceeded that. We have 47 students. Uh, the 40 are online, and the, the other seven are in class. Our university is looking to be the innovative leader in adult education. So we looked at what our future students would need. Our average student is about in the lower 30 year old, uh, usually a working adult. And to be able, we have, there are 37 million students out there with some college but no degree. Um, and there's been a push by Washington, the president, and also uh, Congress to make school more affordable. Um, and accessible and with quality in mind. There are a number of students with huge student loan, there's a lot of student loan debt, so they're trying to make it more affordable. Compsy based education is one way to do this. Uh, again, two years ago we looked at um, a different, this as a different degree program. We teach blended classes, we teach online classes, and we were looking for a different modality um, for a different subset of students. There are a lot of working adults out there that have um, a lot of working knowledge and are self-starters, and this would be a perfect program for them. What we did at Chadron State, the elementary education faculty wanted to reduce the cost of materials to the students, in other words, the textbook costs. And in part because the students have to pay a great deal of money for the testing to get certified. So what they were looking for were online courses that they could make no cost to the student other than their tuition and fees for uh, getting credit for the course. And so that was what started the program. And then we worked with designers and then the librarians with the instructional designer and with a student researcher to help get the low cost, no cost materials into their uh, courses. So it was a team of people who developed the uh, courses. The content person was the faculty and then we had other people to help them.